Okay, now for all the stuff I'm going to show you now, in your logic preferences, advanced, you should be in advanced mode and you want to have advanced audio ticked and advanced editing ticked, okay? Okay, so let's get into the mechanics of recording in logic now. And I want to start by looking at the audio file record path. That is, when you record audio on audio tracks in your project, where do those audio files get saved to on the hard disk? Okay, so let's look at the whole process from start to finish. So we'll make a new project. Okay, new project. And when you create a new project, this drop down appears. You're forced to create a track. So create one track, whatever type it is. I made an audio track there. And um, my advice is the first thing when you create a new project, before you do any recording, save the project. So you go File, Save. And Logic prompts you to save the project in the default location, which is your user account, music subfolder, logic subfolder. OK? And here is my default location for saving projects. Now, when you go to save your project, you can organize it as a package or a folder. Let's just look at that. So here's my default logic location on my hard disk. And you can see all these projects I've previously saved. Some of them are saved as a folder. OK, like for example, there's a folder, a project saved as a folder inside is a subfolder called audio files and in there is all the recorded content for that project and other projects are saved as a package that's these projects where there's just an icon and a title all right so let's look at one of those here like it's just an icon and a title but if you right click and show package contents that's the contents of that project package and inside the media folder is the subfolder audio files. Again, that's the record location for all your audio recorded with the project. Right? So when you go to save your project, whether you save as a package or a folder, inside the package or folder is a subfolder where all the audio that you record gets saved to by default. Right? But there's something else we can do. Uh, most of you will be familiar with the main logic preferences here. Okay. And these preferences pertain to the program. Any preferences you set here apply to logic as a program every time you run it. But the actual project that you're working on has its own settings here in File Project Settings. Right. And there's two things we're interested in here. The audio setting for the project. And here you set the sample rate which is by default 44.1k. I would leave it at that, but you can change the sample rate here. Okay. And by the way, Logic always records by default at 24-bit, but there is a way to change that, which we'll look at further on. So your sample rate you set here, and then here in the recording project setting, at the bottom is the audio recording path. That is where the audio will get saved that you record for this project. And the default is project. And you can set it to that default any time by clicking the project button there. So by default, when you record audio for a project, it's going to be saved into that audio file subfolder in the package or the folder, depending how you save the project. But this can be changed. You can set a different audio record path for your audio files. And that can be useful if maybe you've got a Mac with a small SSD drive. Now, that SSD drive is going to get full up pretty quick if you do a lot of audio recording in your projects. So you might want to save your projects to the SSD drive, but record your audio to a different location. You can set up a different record path here. I'm going to do that. Click the Set button. And I'm going to choose my external USB 3 hard drive, my MyBook. Create a new folder called AAA underscore logic underscore audio, create that folder, and choose that folder. And that is now my audio file recording path for this project. Okay, These settings are only related to this project I'm working on. Okay, So I've set an alternative record path on the My Book. Now I go and save the project. Save. Doesn't matter if I save as a package or a folder. Okay, It's up to me. But there are these extra things ticked here. Now, these are all ticked by default, and it's best to leave them. 
And these just mean, whether you save your pro project as a package or a folder, these ticks just mean that any content that's used in the project will be copied into the uh, package or folder and backed up there, so you can't lose it. That's any EXS or UltraBeat samples, any Alchemy audio data, any impulse responses for the reverb, any movie files and any Apple um, sound library content. Additionally, you can optionally tick this audio files. Copy the following files into your project, audio files. But if you tick that, it will overwrite the alternative record path that you set up on a different hard drive for the audio. Okay? So don't tick this unless you are using the default audio file location inside the project folder or package. And then, if you tick this, any external audio that you bring into the project, like sample loops that you use on audio tracks, wherever they come from on your hard disks, a copy of those files will be brought into the project folder or package and backed up. So in the future, you can't lose them. Right? So I'm going to save as a folder. Leave all these ticked, but I'm not ticking audio files because I'm using an alternative record path. And I'm going to call the project test 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 save in the default location user account music logic save boom okay now my project is saved and i've set that alternative record path on the my book for all audio recorded on tracks so let's make a quick recording here on this track here we go la 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, la la. And there is a fresh recording. Okay. Now let's look on the hard disk. I've set the alternative record path. So here on the my book in the folder I set up, AAA Logic Audio, there is the recording. Test, test, test. The title of the project, one hash o one. Okay, that's the name of the file that I recorded. This, it takes the name of the project because I haven't put a channel strip preset on the track. Okay, so it's a raw audio track. So the file and its region get given the title of the project, test test test, and then it says one because it's track one, hash o one because it's the first recording on track one. Okay. And there it is in the alternative location for recording. Now, on in the, the part of the disk where I saved the actual project in the default location, there's the project folder. If we look inside it, the default audio file folder has been created, but it's empty because the audio files are being recorded to this alternative location here on the USB 3 hard drive. Okay, So there you go. That's setting up your alternative record path.